In this video, we will talk about few data exploration techniques and we'll be using Kaggle datasets. So let's first find out a good dataset. Why not start with Indian Food 101? Now, this is a data set about 255 traditional and famous dishes in India. Okay. If we go down, we will find the description of various columns, name of the dish, ingredients, diet, type of diet, vegetarian or non-vegetarian, preparation time, cooking time, flavor profile, spicy, sweet, bitter, now which, is, which type of meal it is, starter, main course, dessert, the geographical specifications of the dish and then the sources. Now this is a pretty good visualization which is itself in the data set. Let us first download this thing over here. Download. After downloading this indianfood.csv, I will go to our studio and open this CSV file. There are multiple ways of achieving this. The easiest of them is you just click on this import data set so i'll not be using that over here i'll be giving you another approach you can go to files then you can go to your downloads and then you can uh, go to the folder in which you have set it which is indian food 101 kegel and then you can just set it as your working directory and then just say read Indian I'll be saving this in Indian food object and I'll just say Indian food is equal to read.csv file name is Indian food dot csv and that's it so over here you can see in the global environment indian food is an object which has 255 observations of nine variables so let's look at this view indian food so over here you can see the name ingredients diet prep time cook time flavor profile course state you can do one more thing over here that you can just put in the call names function and this will give you all the column names in this object. These are the nine column names. Now you can also do a summary of this object. So this gives you all kinds of statistical summary. I mean, name is a character type thing. So it will not calculate the mean median thing, mean median statistics. Ingredients, the same thing, diet, the same thing. But prep time is a quantitative thing. So it will be generating its mean, median and quantiles. Same goes for cook time. And uh, the other guys are again also character type. So, uh, that's that's it for this kind of that's it for the basic idea of this data set just check once again that what is the type of all the columns so just write str and put in your indian food over here so this will give you that name is a character type ingredients is a character type uh, then your uh, diet is also character type Prep time is again integer. Prep time is an integer. Cook time is integer. The other guys are also character type. So over here you can see that name uh, is definitely going to be unique for everything. So you cannot use the name as category labels or uh, how would I put it as factors. In diet, yes, diet is kind of a factor or class because it could be either vegetarian or non-vegetarian. That's pretty much it. Flavor profile, sweet, uh, spicy. Uh, again, it lends itself to uh, some kind of uh, class labeling. Course, again, class labeling can be done. Let's first change the diet 
into uh, into factors so what i'll do is i'll write indian food dollar diet is equal to as dot factor indian food dollar diet now again i can check the str thingy so now you can see that the diet thing over here has changed to factor with two labels right now let's look at the summary of diet summary of indian food dollar diet so you can see that there are 29 non vegetarian dishes and 226 vegetarian dishes let's do a similar exercise for um, flavor profile so i'll just modify my command over here you can see the flavor profile has changed to factor with five levels let's look at them again summary indian food flavor profile so it has five factors four are bitter one is sour 133 spicy 88 is sweet now minus one thing over here is something which we need to look at what exactly is the minus one thing so let's look at an example minus one right so it's the indian flavor profile right so chapati right okay essentially we got some idea that there could be something which are neither bitter nor sour nor spicy nor sweet right we do not have a classification for them so what we can do is we we can put a name to this minus 1 as tasteless right but before we do that let's check just one more of it okay naan so you can see i mean roti naan these are chapati naan these are tasteless generally these are not categorized as bitter sour spicy or sweet so a good way of doing a good way of proceeding ahead could be just uh, renaming minus 1 as tasteless to do this we need to load the plyr library and use the revalue command minus 1 is equal to taste less so over here we have just renamed minus 1 to taste less so let's pull the summary for this again so it looks like it hasn't changed in the actual column we had it's just defining a new column so we need to just assign this guy to our original column okay let's pull the summary out again voila you can see now earlier we had 29 as minus 1 now we have 29 as tasteless and the rest are the same so we what we have done is for flavor profile uh, we can do the same thing for course and region let's do the same first we will change course to factor right so let's just jump in over here and change this to course and then over here again we will do a course so yeah str indian food now you can see that the course again is also of four factors so let's look at the summary of course now summary indian food dollar course so over here we have starter snack main course dessert we don't need to modify it further it's pretty much fine let's look at another region okay let's look at that so we'll change this command to region rather than course we will have region okay let's do str on this okay factor has eight levels okay what are those levels let's look at that So over here we have central, east, north, northeast, south, west, and there's a minus one. Now, okay, let's look at minus one from here. A uh, minus one is this guy over here. 
दिस इज लौकी की सब्जी ओके सो या प्रॉबली दिस इज फाउंड इन मेनी रीजन्स सो वी विल जस्ट डू द सिमिलर एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चेंजिंग माइनस वन टू सम नेम लाइक वी विल राइट पैन इंडिया सो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट द थर्टीन माइनस वन हैज बीन री नेम टू पैन इंडिया ओके सो ऑल द बेसिक क्लीनिंग थिंग हैज बीन डन आई गेस ओके लेट्स पुट अ थिंग ओवर योर एस टी आर इंडियन फूड सो लेट्स सी वी हैव नेम वी हैव डाइट वी हैव प्रेप टाइम वी हैव कुक टाइम वी हैव फ्लेवर प्रोफाइल वी हैव कोर्स वी हैव रीजन सो लेट्स जस्ट यूज द इंटेजर एंड द फैक्टर्स एंड जस्ट द नेम गाय ओवर योर टू डू सम काइंड ऑफ इनिशियल एक्सरसाइज सो वी विल जस्ट चूज दी स्पेसिफिक कॉलम्स टू डू आवर इनिशियल एक्सरसाइज सो लेट्स जस्ट कॉल द डिप्लर लाइब्रेरी ओवर योर इंडियन फूड इनिशियल is equal to select indian food so you can see over here that indian food initial has 20 255 observations of seven variables so uh, we have just left out two things over here the ingredients thing over here and the state thing over here right so it is pretty much a uh, good enough analysis which we can do on indian food uh, with the data frame indian food initial so right now what we can do over here is let's put a summary on indian food initial so we have pretty much everything we have name we have diet as factors we have prep time and cook time as numbers flavor profile as factors course as factors region as factors that's pretty much good now what we should do uh let's try to find out is there any kind of regression which we can do on prep uh on prep time cook time uh and and which kind of diet it is i mean can we tell can we have any kind of idea whether the food is vegetarian or non vegetarian depending upon the prep time and cook time that could be one exercise for us the other exercise could uh, other exercise could be that can we have any kind of relation between the preparation time and the cooking time and uh, again can we have any relation between the prep time cook time and the region and various permutations and combinations but for starters just let's try to look for the relation between preparation time and cook time okay so let's do that relation prep cook time is equal to lm Y is our. I mean, we we want to predict the cook time using the prep time. So, Indian food initial dollar cook time. Put a tilde over here. Indian food initial dollar prep time. Okay. so let's look at the summary for this model which we have developed over here what you can see is that the that the r square is pretty bad i mean you can you can look over here that the r square is just 0.02 which means it's a pretty bad model but if you look at the t statistics and the p value those are not insignificant which means that the model is not that bad the model is just not sufficient the prep time is kind of an okay okay input to predict the cook time but it is not enough there are other factors also so over here we can just say that the model is not good enough but it's kind of okay we we can predict the cook time using prep time but we would need more predictors to have an accurate picture so let's look at another exercise at the classification exercise which we were thinking about right can we predict the diet type based on prep time and cook time so that is fodder for another video 
So we will be carrying on this video for classification models on the next video. And after that, we will try to have a complete picture of this Indian food data set. So we will try to do all kinds of permutations and combinations, classification, digression and all kinds of models which we can deal with. We will, all, we will be also using Python if it's needed. And let's see what we can achieve from this. So I guess this was a good introduction to downloading Kaggle data sets and using them in your analysis. So with this, I would like to end this video and I hope that you found something useful from this video. And before you go, why don't you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to be updated with various data science, economics, physics, finance related content. With this, I would like to end this video. Keep watching the channel. Bye-bye.